I, I don't I don't see us doing that. And but you know, this this should open your eyes, you know. If they floating things over and then they were shooting other things that they don't even want to let us know. After the balloon, yeah, it was more things. It was yeah. they don't even tell they say, yeah. Oh, it more. wasn't big football fields, it was as big as a car. going on yeah we can cut stop this the, stop, stop, yeah, the video. Stop, stop the video stop the video oh my goodness oh my goodness okay um chinese spy balloon look 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 this i'm gonna start with mine because remember we both military you know ex-military we won't retire from whatever service y'all gotta let us know in the comments but however, um, it's a couple things. Okay, so if if they seen it coming over, this is Chinese, you know, whatever. Um, and this probably, I think it was big as a couple f football fields or something like that, something yeah. like that. Yeah. But um, but it's it's floating over American soil. First of all, how did it even get close to American soil? That's first of all, right? Why why did it even get close? It, it, and once it's over, then. You got to kind of figure out, all right, we got this big contraption, this biggest football field. We want to take it down where it don't cause any casualties on the ground. I got it. I got it, hands down. And you have to also think about what if you pop the balloon and there is a some type of um, gases or some type of, uh, you know, uh, something that's in it that will spread into the air that is surrounds. Mm -hmm. You don't even know. You just don't know. You don't know. So um, I don't know if somebody was sleeping before, you know, before he even came to our little, uh, you know, over Montana or wherever it was up there. Um, I, I don't see why we let it go that far. And then once it get that far, then you got you to strategically take it down. To me, taking it over the Atlantic, I get it. The reason being because winds and force winds, they go there. They always go west and never go. I mean, I always go east and never go west. So all the winds usually flow that way. So if there was some type of toxic chemical, it will just flow east and keep going and over the water and then maybe into Africa. So I don't know. But um, yeah, that, that's kind of crazy. What, what, what are your thoughts, Mitch? Well, I'll tell you this. Okay, um, two, two questions, two questions. Okay. With this spy balloon, my first question is: uh, Do your everyday American do they they care about this right now? Or what's going on with the economy <laughs> in well, our community? Mean, in right. all communities right now, I'm just been <laughs> even in a book or whatever. Will this be talked about in barber shops or anything? Do your common everyday American care about this right now with what's going on in the country right I now. I only think they'll care about it if if it directly affects them. If they just think it's just a balloon, whatever. Even you know, though, we we have that military mindset that yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to give you an example. 
-hmm. when I was in Iraq, I was in Iraq and you do the same thing every day. I've never been in any place where I do the same thing every day. That particular place, I did the same thing every day. And we, this is a time when I went to the DFAC. And uh, DFAC is a dining facility for those Thank who you. don't know. Thank you. The, um, <laughs> this is where we eat, right? Yeah. So I went there for lunch or dinner, one or two, right? But as I, you know, I'm walking there, and, you know, I'm in the scorching heat or whatever. As I'm walking there to this particular uh, facility, um, I see a balloon. And the balloon is floating. And guess what, man? It was a, a SpongeBob balloon. Now, now I was in Altaji, which is a town that's right outside, of, you know, uh, Baghdad down there. So I was in Altaji, and Altaji in that particular camp, there was a, you know, actual, um, uh, you know, a town right there. You know, so they had kids, and you know, it's a regular town. But we had this little fort base or whatever camp that was there. And um, what is so crazy is. The, the the balloon was just floating. I was like, that's different because when you do the same thing every day, you notice the small things. You know, if we were, if you were outside, you seen a balloon, you'd be like, ah, oh, there's somebody, some kid let that go, whatever. You know, that's what you would think. But over yeah. there, like, is there something inside of that? Is there? Mm. I, I don't know if they floating over a bomb and explode. I don't know what they're doing. I said, we need to go. I said, we need to go. I don't know what it is. In all actuality, yes, it was a kid that was in that town that had a, a balloon and it just floated over the base or whatever, or whatever. But still, we have that mindset of, you know, we, we kind of paying attention to detail. So when we look at this spy balloon, I'm thinking, what's in that balloon? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Is there anything in it? Is there something, uh, some type of bi biological warfare type chemical in it that you know, it could be COVID all over again. You know, it could be anything. Well, it could be anything, and it's then it blows up, and then now you got a bunch of um, you know stuff in the air, and everybody's in hell and stuff. I mean, well, that was a good take on that. That was a good take on that. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just think uh, yeah, the country probably is not even split in half on caring about this right now, mm -hmm. uh, and we don't have more since then. And uh, I think it was, they said that it was maybe eight days it, it floated uh, over the uh, United States. My second question, though, my second question, everybody put your little thinking caps on. If President, former President Trump, if he was a president right now and that spy balloon came in our atmosphere as far as United States. Uh, what do you think he would have done? And do you think he would have waited eight days for that to happen? No. 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 I think once once they figured out that um, it was something foreign and it was heading our direction, even over Alaska, Canada, wherever, right? So even, you know, if it's floating, I think, uh, and and if, if Trump was in office, they wouldn't even test Come him. Come on. They wouldn't even test him. That's what I want you to think. I don't think. even think they would test People. him. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, they wouldn't even, they, they'll do old, old Sleepy Joe. They'll, they'll do Sleepy Joe. Hey, they'll hey. do him like that. They'll be like, you know, he ain't paying attention. Time out. <laughs> ten, ten three, stand by. Hold up. People, you're going to learn these 10 codes too okay but <laughs> we, we can't we can't we can't we're we not gonna do that well i mean president well, Biden is our president, president. Been... yes yes and yes. president yes. trump was our president too i would never say yeah. anything yeah. disrespectful for yeah. any of those presidents or whatever no mm -hmm. if they get elected they are my president all right so so you don't um if they do something wrong, you don't call it out. You just say, "Oh, they my president." They, no, they my, my president. No, we can call out the. No, uh, you call them out then. I'm calling call them out. Yeah, but I'm not going to sleeping. Gonna... He's been sleeping hey. on a lot of different topics. That's ridicule. That's ridicule. <laughs> no, no, I'm calling them out. I'm calling them out. Listen, he waited. 
He waited. Biden, and and, and, not... and even if you put it in the comments that he had the military do this, uh, all right. So maybe the military. Maybe, well, let, let's put it at that. You know, I, I seen some kind of um, some information out there saying that he said shoot it down, and the military said we got to strategically shoot it down. So we, sir, we we gonna shoot it down, but we got to strategically shoot it down. Oh, okay. well, yeah. So I mean, I get it, I get it, but why even get past Alaska? All over Canada, then yeah. come down to Montana, wherever it was, over the wide, and then it floated over to South Carolina. Come on now, you got pictures of everything by that time. And uh, just a couple of more minutes with this, but uh, one other thing, another question, uh, full of questions with this Do you think um, the United States, if we if the roles were reversed and we had a balloon going towards China? We wouldn't even have a dash. What, what what do you think will happen? Well, they know that they. I, th I think China knows that we don't care what they're doing over there as long as it doesn't matter. It doesn't you know hinder what we got going and all our UN allies. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I don't think you know they know that we don't care. You know, going over, we're not sending no people over there. I mean, it may be some people over there is trying to spy on the Chinese, but I mean. We have more Chinese spies than we have American spies over there. This, you know, trying to do that. So I, I, I don't, I don't see us doing that. And but you know, this, this should open your eyes. You know, if they floating things over, and then they were shooting other things that they don't even want to let us know. After the balloon, yeah, it was more things. It was yeah. they don't even tell. They said, oh, it wasn't big. Football fields was big as a car. Okay, it's big as a car, but what was it? Oh, I don't know. It, we shot it down. And this. In the middle of the tundra somewhere, and we can't get to it. Yeah, you know? yeah, I get that because it's kind of hard to get to it if it's over some frozen, you know, Arctic area or whatever up north or whatever, and it's hard to, you know, drive or you know, drop a plane or helicopter there. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah man, it's, it's it's crazy, and I, the average um, civilian does not pay attention to this or don't care about it unless it directly affects. Now, if there was some gases that came out of that and people got sick. Like yeah. that issue, and I don't even want to bring this. Oh, I guess we can't bring up the, the issue of the train derailment in uh, Ohio. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes. So, you know, that's toxic. It's in the water, it's in the, you know, yes. environment. You got uh, animals dying and things of that nature. That directly affects me. So that's why they're portraying that, right? Since it directly affects me. So, but yeah, uh, spy balloons, you know, as far as in, uh, from what I see, you know, military standpoint, a, uh, Take them out as soon as you see them. You know, once they come in our radar space and our AO, hey, look, we gotta take them out. Don't you know? We ain't got time to be playing. Get the get the. I don't know if it was Air Force or Navy. I don't know. Somebody got up there and they yeah. took it out. Yeah, Me too. I don't know, but but still though, uh, we we definitely need to take it out as soon as we get whiff of it coming in our airspace. Definitely. I, okay. I, I, mean, I don't know how you feel about it, but I mean, you want to wait along and you know. You wait for Sleepy Joe to say, "Hey, and and people, let me before we go." And this is the final thoughts, but I want y'all to see how he always try to throw those little shots in. What at the what? end of our discussions what? on anything? <laughs> I didn't say that I was uh, for any of that, but I'm gonna say a shout out. We both gonna say shout out to the military and everybody yeah. that's uh, doing Serving. their part. Yes, yes, yeah. Trying to keep it's, everybody it's, safe. It's crazy uh, from the start to finish, especially those. You know, coming straight out of the, um, high school and going straight in, or those who've been out and trying to come in, or whatever. It's a, yeah. it's an evolution. It's a, a show, a, a, a culture shock, I guess you would say. Uh, but um, stick in there, especially those uh, military members that are still in that are serving. Stick in there. Stick yeah. in there. Uh, you may be at a duty station that's, you know, you don't have good leadership, or you're at a duty station that you really suck. But there's light at the end of the tunnel. So yes. you may you may see something that's a little bit better, you know, at your next duty station, or you take, um, and, you know, uh, you may run across a leader that you know kind of gives you that motivation to, you know, some some actual techniques that you can use out in the civilian sector if you want to get out. So stick in there, definitely. But and it changed both of our lives. So okay. yes, of course. Of course. yes, we wouldn't be where we at today without that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I came straight out of high school. 
You know, I think we both came straight out of high school. Straight out of high school. Yeah. Straight out of high school. 18 years old. I'm gone. You know, yeah. went boot camp and everything, did did the thing and, and stayed in, did 21 years, you know. So yeah, yeah. Um, like I say, just you know, stick with it, stick with it. I mean, just take the good with the bad, learn from the bad or whatever yeah. you move forward. That's all. Yeah. All right, you guys, we out of here. Uh that's the uncomfortable yeah. truth about the spot balloon. In the comments. Put something down there. What you think about the spot balloon? Yeah. What are your thoughts about it? Do you think that you know we we uh, managed that correctly? You know, we waited till we got over South Carolina waters and then shot it down. Do you think that was a good good idea? You know, for the military slash uh, the government to take care of? Yeah, well, you if know, it would have came, oh, hey, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, if it would have came over Alabama, you wouldn't have to worry about. <laughs> hey, hey, we yeah, locked and loaded yeah. over here, hey, hey, look, Alabama. Hey, look, hey, look, Hey, hey look, look, Alabama would have put a slingshot up there. Hey, <laughs> he would have did a slingshot trying to hit it. <laughs> Won't he do it? Hey. Won't he do it? <laughs> Roger sure. hey. All right, you guys. Y'all take it easy. Until next time. All right. Uncomfortable truth. Peace.